Hello and welcome to Cargo Shorts from the Stat Trade Times. Here's our pick of the best new shorts that made the headlines this week. Let's first check out a piece of data that may be a cause of worry for air cargo operators world over. In Tiaka's May 2022 monthly economics briefing powered by Zenita's Clive Data Services, this percentage figure revealed its presence at the very start. So what is this figure and why is it a reason for worry? We'll get into that once we look at the top stories. According to the Qatar Airways Group revenue results released on Friday, Qatar Airways Cargo reported a record revenue of $6.32 billion transporting over 3 million tons of air freight, accounting for an 8% share in the global market from 1st of April 2021 to 31st of March 2022. Qatar Airways Cargo stated that it had experienced a growth of 25% over last year with the growth in cargo capacity measured in available ton kilometers of 25% annually. Qatar Airways Cargo maintained its position as the world's leading air cargo carrier throughout the financial year, forging ahead with a strategic focus on growth, sustainability and digitization, and supporting the continuity of global trade despite ongoing market challenges. Qatar Airways Cargo has a fleet of 28 freighters, which include 26 Boeing 777-200F and two Boeing 747-8F aircraft. In addition to this, Qatar Airways Cargo currently operates under ACMI contract, two Boeing 747-400 freighters and one Airbus A310-300 freighter. In a move celebrating Qatar Airways' strong financial position, Akbar Al Baker, Qatar Airways Group CEO, via a mail sent out to all Qatar Airways employees, announced an employee one-time payment of a month's basic salary to all eligible employees. The logistics payments and data infrastructure platform PayCargo recently announced a new investment of up to $130 million in its Series C funding round from funds managed by Blackstone Growth. The new investment will support the company's continued expansion both domestically and internationally, development of new products as well as potential growth opportunities through mergers and acquisitions. In its Series B funding round held on June 15 last year, PayCargo had raised $125 million. Prior to that, PayCargo had raised $30 million in September 2020. In this way, PayCargo has cumulatively raised $285 million so far through separate funding rounds. Etihad Cargo, the cargo and logistics arm of Etihad Aviation Group, has signed an MOU with Luxembourg-based Beeb Medical Systems to develop and launch an airline-specific passive temperature control solution for the transportation of life-saving drugs vaccines and high-value pharmaceuticals. The MOU was announced at the three-day BIO International Convention held in San Diego in the US. Etihad Cargo will become the first airline globally to develop and launch sustainable temperature control containers for the transportation of pharmaceuticals and life sciences. The units will retain temperatures from minus 80 to 25 degrees Celsius for up to five days without requiring an external power source with load capabilities ranging from 2 to 1500 litres. Amazon has announced the launch of its drone air delivery service Prime Air at Lockford, California in the US. Amazon had first announced Prime Air in 2013 and received a go-ahead from the Federal Aviation Administration only in August 2020. Amazon will fly its latest drone, the MK27-2, for its Prime Air project. The MK272's unique hexagonal design provides 6 degrees of freedom for stability. The propellers have been specifically designed to minimize high-frequency sound waves. The firm stated that Lockwood will be ground zero for its pilot Prime Air project. According to Amazon, Lockwood residents will play an important role in defining the future. Lufthansa Cargo opened its new fine arts warehouse facility at the Frankfurt Hub this week, continuing the path it has begun to modernize its latest air freight hub. Fine arts shipments can now benefit from a special warehouse with modern technical equipment in which a ventilation system with heating and cooling functions enables targeted temperature control. Spread across 155 square meters, the Art Cube in the Lufthansa Cargo Center now offers its customers twice as much space for safe and professional storage of high-value fine art pieces of all kinds. 
According to Thomas Rohrmeyer, head of handling Frankfurt at Lufthansa Cargo, the modern Art Cube combines optimal handling processes with the highest security features, allowing Lufthansa Cargo to meet the special requirements of sensitive art objects and offer customized solutions for the storage of fine art. Cargo Lux and its long-term partner, Bulori Logistics, have signed an agreement for the use of Sustainable Aviation Fuel, or SAF for short, in joint operations. The deal covering 800,000 litres of SAF is a part of the Cargo Lux SAF program. The initiative will enable Bulori Logistics to reduce its Scope 3 greenhouse gas emissions by at least 2,200 tonnes of CO2e, a reflection of both parties' commitment to sustainable operations. Now let's go back to the percentage figure we spoke about earlier. According to the Tiaka Clive briefing, general air cargo market volumes fell minus 8% year over year in May, comparable to April, as the aviation industry's stuttering recovery was compounded again by macroeconomic events. Tiaka further stated that air freight rates have continued to drop since the return of more passenger flights and the introduction of airline summer schedules. The briefing also added that in the last week of May 2022, rates from Europe to North America showed negative year-over-year growth for the first time in two years. And that's a wrap for this week's episode. This is your host, Manjula Nair, signing off and wishing you a great weekend ahead. For the latest news on air freight, visit our website. Follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Give our YouTube channel a visit and subscribe to access our past webinars and virtual conferences and access exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews with global logistics leaders. Thank you for tuning in to Cargo Shots by the Statrade Times. See you next week with a fresh roundup of Cargo Newsmakers.